Hi guys and welcome to a calculator developed using Python. Guys, so let me show you guys how this works. And right here I have my backspace. Here we go. And let's assume we say 5.2. Let's see if the decimal works again. That's fine. Let's multiply that by 9. There we go. So we can always play. And let's say multiply that by 9 and let's divide the whole lot by 6 there yeah. so what i'm going to do right now guys i'm going to take you guys straight into python development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys so i'm going to exit out and let's come back to the file select a new and let's come right here first of all i'm going to import tikinta as tk and uh, from tikinta i'm going to also import the font and import the bath there we go next i'm going to create a class and this class i will just call it let's say scientific calculator next i'm going to now define initialize the following and that is going to be self comma root close that up enter column there and right underneath here i'm going to say self dot root and that is going to be all root and i'm just going to then enter title for it there we go and next i want my system to be centered so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to say window width i'm going to make that about 500 so window underscore width and that's going to be about 500 and let's go for the height as well i'll make that about 700 there we go and just change this to 700 and that's the height height is 700 now because i want to get it centered i want my screen to be dead center so what i'm going to do i will then define the screen width and the screen height there we go so that's for my screen width and the screen height and finally i'm just going to say set dot root that is going to be the Let's say we don't want it to. I want it. I, want, I don't want the user to be able to res, uh, resize it. So I'm going to say sub dot root dot resize. That will be false. Resizable, and that is going to be false. The y axis or the the height will be false and the width will be false. So now I'm entering the width comma and the height is going to be false as well. There, done. And next, I'm going. I'm now going to just create my entry. So let's just say self dot entry, and that is going to be equals tk dot entry. So when I say entry, I'm actually talking about the text box. And it's going to be child of a root, comma, and let's go for the font. And that is going to be fonts. And there we go. So the font is going to be 24, in the border style, the border that is 10, the width is 2. Okay, so next, uh, before I go any further, let's just let me say some just customize in here. Just customize the font that I intend to use for the others. Come right here, font, and I'm going to just say dot plus itself dot customize underscore the font and the font in this case i'm going to make that about or let's just say font dot font 
and that will be size I will make that about 18 here yeah, I will use that for the other components next let's come right down here now I'm going to create my buttons so right underneath here let's say the button layout buttons equals I'm going to enter that in in a, an array okay the first is going to be for my backspace so that's going to be for the backspace it pays that thing now if you notice the entry is in rule zero column zero so this backspace is going to be on row one column zero okay so the first one is taken care of let's put that in a bracket here might as well just take it down yeah okay that's the first one so the next is going to be for let's say play play command there I can even just copy all of this and change it around paste and this is going to be clear and this will become one okay would be the same thing for the next one and so on just copy that and let's just speed up the button layout there we go so those are the oh that's the layout for the buttons so have a good look at that and next i'm now i'm going to create using a for loop for the buttons to be arranged and the text to be added onto the button so let's say say using the for loop here for text in the rule and column in a button there we go okay and that's how I want it arranged and next what I'm now going to do is I'm going to now add I'm going to add another function that will take care of the that will be for the text to clear and the backspace so let's start by first of all let's get that indented come right down here and just say function get command and this command is going to be self command text and using an if statements let's say a text equals equals the equal sign If it's equals 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 sign, so what I want the system to do is to return self dot calculate. So that's going to be the function that I'm going to create next. I will take care of the calculation. Let's just call that calculator. All right, self dot calculate. Else, else if if the text equals equals if you see then I want you to clear the system let's scroll down so I will say return self dot clear that's going to be another function that I will have to create self dot clear okay and supposing the function is backspace so let's grab all of all of these copy paste that underneath here if it's backspace i'm going to grab all of the backspace then there's going to be a function called backspace back space okay else then i'm going to have to use the lambda to carry out 
all of the calculation that is required. We can return lambda let's say t is going to be equal to the x for oneself dot button and underscore click that will be the event that we're using all right I'm also going to create another one that will take care of all of these uh, scientific functions. So let's speed that up. And there we go. This function takes care of all of the scientific functions. So we'll have a good look at it. There we go, guys. And right underneath. I also have the one I'll be using for the decimal. There we go. And next is my declaration that will handle all of the functions. There we go. That is it right here. So have a good look at that. As you can see, that's for sine, cosine, tangent, and so on. Look at it. Okay, if you notice I've used prime, there's any error, and this is my handler day. So just display that. Very good look at that. And right underneath, that is my cog, and that's the calculator day. That's function calculator, that's the function for clear. That is the backspace function, and that's the updates entry, and that's all the restates. Just one more thing left for me to do. So I'm going to show you guys the lines of code in. But let's come up here first of all. See here, I'm going to create the following that we just sets the following entry so let's come in there i will say set that current input the current input that will be underscore input that is going to be equals nothing and set dot result as well that result that is going to be equal to the value of zero then we say self dot previous follows that will be for the rad underscore rad there okay let's save it then i'll show you guys the lines of code one more time save us okay and i'll just call that scientific yt and save that so let's try it so before i try it let me show you guys the lines of words one more time bring it down take it from the top down To get this very backspace, you can always use Unicode or copy it online. Scroll right down. One more. There we go. It's a very interesting calculator. So if you want the codes, just get in touch, provided you are a subscriber. Yeah. and if you notice the buttons actually change to colors one for the backspace and one for the equals so you can always change the color to whatever you want okay that is the color that was changed here and that's the other one 
All right, let's run it now. Click on run. Okay, we have an error. Let's see. Let's look at the wrong spelling here. That is the right idea. So we'll close that and then just go right up here. So, all right. So let's try it one more time. There we go, look at that. Get center, like I said earlier on SC5. 59 plus whatever. Okay. Let's say we multiply that by 9. There. Backspace. Let's use the play. There we go, guys. Look at that. As you can see, it's working as we expect. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it the end of this brilliant tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And if you have any need for the code, provided you are a channel member, the code is yours. So you all have a nice day now. Bye for now.